this mobile phone that you are looking at right here doesn't detect sim card and the phone is from another shop and the other technician already checked by flashing the phone and i also check and it's not a software problem so we open the mobile phone and the first thing that we needed to check on this mobile phone is to check the detect signal so for me to check the detect signal i have to isolate it from uh, from breaching with the gnd so that's the first step to check if uh, the detect signal of the sim card is okay so after insulating it right there so i had to check the diode reading of the detect signal as you can see what i'm doing that's actually okay so in case you are confused what i'm doing right here i actually teach all this in my professional level course in which you can purchase from the video description or send me a message on whatsapp so after checking the detect signal was okay which means that yeah we need to go deep into troubleshooting this mobile phone so the next thing i had to check the clock signal of the both the sim 1 and the sim 2 and also check the reset signal same as the data lines if they are communicating with the cpu as you can see what i'm doing right here i also checked and yeah everything is okay you can know all this looking into schematic diagrams you can download schematic diagram from my video description free schematic diagrams or if you want to purchase you can also send me a message on whatsapp to purchase either bonio or stx schematic but if you want free schematics you can download from this video description so the next thing i had to check the vdd of the sim 1 and the sim 2 and i was not getting that vdd which is the input voltage of the sim sim card so without that input voltage this phone wouldn't be able to detect any sim card so this phone doesn't have an nfc ic which means that the input is coming directly from the power manager ic and this is the power manager uh, ic that you are looking at so i had to hit up the power manager ic because without the phone having an nfc ic it means that there is no enable signal for the vdd of this mobile phone so after hitting up i still do not get that voltage that i'm looking for so i had to have no option than to reball the power manager ic as you can see so you will just have to follow the steps in reballing it's safe reballing because this type of uh, mobile phone you actually need to take uh, a very good note take everything slowly when reballing because the phone was actually switching on at first so you don't have to to work in such a way that at at, at the end the phone won't be able to switch on and you will have some issues with the customer so you need to check on how to do reballing safely on any mobile phone so that you won't damage the phone further so you just have to follow what i'm doing slowly and slowly so like i said this phone doesn't have an nfc ic which means that the the sim card vdd voltage doesn't have an enable signal that is coming from the cpu so any enable signal will be integrated inside this power manager ic so the clock signal the reset signal and the data pin lines that are going to the cpu i check on that and there is no open circuit so that's why i'm focusing on this section i'm focusing on the power manager section because there is supposed to be at least 1.8 volt in the vdd1 and the vdd2 which is vdd sim1 and vdd sim2 so they are both coming from here so what i have to do i have to clean it and make sure that i test if there is, there is any open circuit between the pins the vdd pins that are connecting the power manager ic to the sim card tray so that's what i'm doing right here one pin in one of the pin to the sim tray and another pin to another pin to the sim tray so everything was connected which means that there is no open circuit so maybe reballing the the ic will work maybe there was just an open circuit in the solder balls that's the reason why we are always doing reballing right so i had to clean off the ic as you can see what i'm doing right here taking everything slowly <laughs> taking everything slowly so as you can see what i'm doing so like i said before if you want to download free schematic diagrams uh, you can visit my new website i have free schematic diagrams and if you want to purchase schematic diagram software which you will have access to to bit to bit mapping also and uh, uh, guidelines you can let me know 
send me a message on WhatsApp to purchase either it's a three month, six months or one year. So let's go straight and uh, reball. Uh, make the solar balls on this IC. So in case you are trying to learn reballing, you can also do a quick Learn you can also learn very quickly from this video as you can see what I'm doing right here So I'm applying the solder paste In the stencil and this this is a universal stencil It's very tricky to to reball with this one So you need to do a lot of practice to be able to know how to reball the way that I'm doing in a universal stencil so if it's the original stencil or the IC it won't be complicated that complicated in case you are just starting but if it's a universal stencil you need to do a lot of uh, practice before you can be able to so as you can see what I'm doing okay all good so I always ap apply paste to make sure that all the pins are connected yeah to make sure all the pins are well connected if not when you are removing it especially in this type of stencil you will notice that some pins are not connected right so here we have the the IC here we have the IC and the, yeah the IC is actually ready to mount and we are going to do that slowly we are going to do that slowly so I will zoom in a little bit so that you will see everything clear so what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply paste just a little bit. You don't have to apply too much paste. If not, when you are mounting the IC, the, the IC will keep running left and right. So always make sure to apply just a little bit of paste. And uh, yeah, make sure you balance the, the IC well. You always have some guides, as you can see right there. Guides and look the sideways if everything is well uh, placed. And uh, I just hit hit at the IC and uh, make sure that the solder bolt melt off, solder bolts on the IC melt off, and yeah, all I had to do is to ap apply a lot of paste from this time because I know that they are already connected. Hitting it up, the IC won't run around because it's already connected, right? So I hit at the IC up, and uh, I needed to test the dial reading to make sure that uh, there is no open circuit and everything is connected so I did that with my with my multimeter check the surrounding and uh, yeah everything was connected okay so after doing all this I tested and still I wasn't getting the VDD voltage so we did not succeed in solving this problem but this is what I want you to understand the power IC of this mobile phone is bad and needs to be replaced and I do not have the replacement if you disagree to this then you can let me know in the comment section I can learn from your comment as well as others can also learn from your comment we learn all day right so subscribe to my channel and send me a message on whatsapp if you want to get my calls and be able to to do deep troubleshooting like this even though we did not succeed in this video you can also check my other videos on the channel